Hello, fellow humans. My name is Dorothy Laxton, and this is Fostering Untethered Communication and Knowledge, an adventure in stimulating objective, critical thought, shining the spotlight through individual spectacles, putting it once again on the bigger picture and our parts in it. Searching for life beyond the lifestyles we North American urban dwellers have to choose to chase, encouraging all to participate in positive change. So I've had so many different things that I've thought about talking on today. And I have to tell you the whole reason why I picked up the phone just escaped me. So we're just going to pick one of them. Ah, democracy. The silly notion of democracy doesn't work if we don't actually participate in it, people. And this is something that I haven't understood my entire adult life. Because definitely in my adult life, we saw voter turnouts bottom across North America. I never understood why Canadians paid so much attention to American politics, other than that it's been a spectacle much longer. Canada is just becoming really a spectacle in the past 20 some odd years since the turn of the century. I guess maybe started more in the 90s, whereas in the United States of America, lifestyle marketing took over politics in the 80s with Reagan. And there's a wealth of research and such that's been done. I, in the early 90s, was sitting in on philosophy lectures discussing ethics, actual ethics, and the ethics of marketing, how marketers are literally taught how to manipulate you. And marketing is probably, if I had to estimate, a good 75% of the wealth generation. Wealth, as much as we want to think that we've created a lot of wealth, what we've created is a lot of debt and we've destroyed a lot of value. I believe there should be a wealth cap. Nobody should control as much wealth as people like Bill Gates or Vladimir Putin. He's a pretty wealthy guy, apparently. I was researching an art project and looking into Putin, and there was speculation that he might actually be the richest man in the world. And just a note, the term conspiracy theory was slowly integrated into your life by mass media so that when these days came and the people being accused of misinformation and disinformation that were actually trying to reveal the fact that we've all been living under the influence of nothing but misinformation and disinformation for the majority of our lifetimes, those of us that are alive now, there are fewer and fewer of us that remember what it was like before everybody had a screen in their hand. I remember what it was like to have one black and white TV in the house. We listened to a lot of radio. So much of our lives are distraction from life. Lifestyles are distractions from life. We literally traded life for lifestyles. And instead of shaping those lifestyles ourselves, really, we've allowed marketers to come in and do surveys and pick our brains and shape things that are going to grab us by the amygdala and to the cash register. And that's how we create wealth. That's not how we create democracy. Because all the while, while we're chasing these things that they tell us we need, we're not paying attention to the decisions that our leaders are making. And instead of having leaders, benevolent leaders, that are going to say, hey, wait a second, guys, we got to suck it up for a little while. There's an economic recession happening, which, by the way, is a natural part of the cycle. And the longer you avoid the natural recession from happening, the bigger it gets. And that's why we have booms and busts. Instead of 
periods of recession and periods of growth. You cannot have nonstop and limited growth. It's just a ridiculous fantasy. And all of us with our comforts that we're running around chasing that they've told us that we need, that they've convinced us that we need. We don't have time to think about these things and, oh, it stresses us out too much. Think about it. What is more stressful? Sitting, knowing in the back of your mind that this is blowing up in our faces and just hoping. We've been rolling off of fumes since the 80s, I'm sure. The late 80s. That stock market crash. And I said it. Been saying it for decades. We have to be real people and we've gotten nowhere near it. We have just completely submerged ourselves in the spectacle and we have to wake up from this nightmare or we're not going to wake up from it and we're going to experience it full force. That's what it means to need to repent and change our ways. We need these messages to soften, not harden our hearts. We need to accept the fact that life is uncomfortable and this world is not about us achieving some idyllic, ecstatic existence. You've got to think about those tough things to participate as a democratic citizen. And people haven't. And I gave up. Because the system is just, this is why. The only way to get it back is to take it back. And it's not fun. Ask any recovered, recovering addict. I don't believe that any addict is ever fully recovered. I believe that we're all actually think addiction is part of the human condition and we all have the things that grab us by our amygdalas and drag us around. And they don't even give us time or headspace anymore to choose them. They're certainly making sure that everybody's focus is sex and sexuality by making it so important that we have to be introducing it in the earliest developmental stages of a child's life now. We need some humility back and we need to realize that there's a reason why sexuality became repressed. Because we can't seem to be very responsible about it, can we? And we can't seem to be responsible for anything. And this is why this whole notion of democracy at this point is ridiculous because nobody wants to have the responsibility for these decisions. They just want to blame the people that we've just let run roughshod over us. You got to take some responsibility somewhere. And that goes to every aspect. I could get into a very uncomfortable conversation about what we do to ourselves in the name of being able to have sex as recreation and the way that we've completely almost erased the notion of procreation being the primary purpose, which it is, by the way. I'm running out of recording time. Just some things to think about. Thank you for listening. Narrative bullshit it's propaganda